All right, so it's um, it's about four weeks since I got out of the hospital for my autologous stem cell transplant. As uh, most of you know, I, I'm, I have to do two transplants, um, one being the uh, autologous stem cell transplant that I just did, and then we have to follow it up with a uh, donor transplant, which is called an allogeneic uh, stem cell transplant. So, as I said, it's been about four weeks or so since I got out of the hospital, maybe a little bit more, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good, I'm feeling pretty strong. I actually started going back to the gym a little bit, nothing major, um, just riding the bike and getting on the treadmill and doing a little bit of weights and stuff like that. Um, but I have lost a lot of weight, at least 25 pounds. Uh, and uh, I have been battling the nausea quite a bit, but you know we're bouncing back from that as well. I, I haven't really vomited that much in the past few days. So um, my strength is coming back, uh, the nausea is starting to go away and the vomiting, and uh, I'm just getting ready for the next transplant. You know, I'm just trying to get myself mentally prepared because uh, this next one is a little bit more dangerous and uh, there's, there's some complications that can happen from the allogeneic stem cell transplant, uh, but luckily we've got a donor, a perfect match donor, and uh, I've got a lot of good friends and family uh, supporting me, and uh, so things are going pretty good. I'm going to keep trying to do these updates as often as I can. Uh, I realize that, uh, that this is actually how I'm reaching people, so um, if this is the way that I'm going to help people, then that's great. Uh, I wish all of you out there who are going through similar things that have written to me and sent me emails and and and, uh, and even videos, uh, I, I wish you well. Um, as I said, I'm about four to five weeks out. I'm feeling pretty strong, and uh, we're getting ready for the next transplant. Uh, I will definitely keep you folks uh, updated, um, but uh, the strength is coming back, and I'm feeling pretty good, and uh, I really can't thank you all enough for all the letters uh, that I've been getting from people um, and apparently uh, you know uh, other folks that are doing videos as a result of seeing mine which I think is great um, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna keep it going we're gonna keep fighting and uh, keep plugging along so um, I will keep the updates coming but uh, I have to do another uh, bone marrow uh, biopsy on the 19th and at that point, I will know uh, when the next transplant is going to happen, and uh, we'll take it from there. So in the meantime, I've got this little rash on my hands. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. And on my elbows. It's just dry skin, I think, from the chemo. Uh, but I might have to go in to get that checked out today. But they don't think it's a shingles. I don't think it's a shingles because it's on both of my hands. Usually the shingles is on either side. Uh, one side of your body. But I might have to go in and get checked out for that. As you can see, my my head is quite bald, but my facial hair is actually already starting to come back, which is kind of weird. But anyway, I don't want to uh, cram too much into this uh, video, but uh, I will uh, let you know how things are going. Uh, and again, thanks for all the well-wishers and all the people back home in uh, Gloucester who have been uh, really supporting me the whole time. Talk to you later.